when she cleans, when she cooks, when she changes the kids, everything takes place in this room. والله شو أقول لك بحياتي؟ حياتي أول واحد دي تعبانة وأنا لي خمس سنوات أنا من تطلق ها؟ بعد هذا ابني بلم هذا من انفصله ظل يتعشي تشتغل بالغواطي حتى يدريبي يا أبا مجد دائما أشتغل دوائر علي a young age he had asthma and um Ali says that she would buy the medication before but now she cannot afford it so she only leaves it to emergency cases where he'll be hospitalized um Ali has very little however she has a lot of faith she's still a strong believer and she has hope let's work together where your donations will give a lot of hope to Um Ali where she can provide for her young Ali to have medication for him ensure that these girls will have the right education and ensure that she can provide for her mum stay longer hours with her mum which is physically disabled Make your impact today Elevate the lives of your brothers and sisters Donate now Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Dear viewers of Imam Al Hussein TV, without your support, this channel would never be a success. Many of you have benefited from what is really a university of knowledge, lectures, interactive programs, and of course the Shia voice. The coverage that one receives in the holy month of Muharram and Safar, of course, from the land of Karbala is witnessed by millions around the world and is vital in the upbringing of our children and the health of our households and our communities. We need your generous support. With your support, there could be more documentaries. With your support, there could be more programs. With your support, Shia Voice may come to your community. But we cannot continue this without your generous donations. In this holy month of Ramadan, a month of charity, a month of giving, a month of generosity, come together, join us on Imam Al Hussein TV, and generously donate as you always have done, so we may continue to provide programs which serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of course the holy household. Why has no other sign been sent down to him from his Lord? Say, O Prophet, the knowledge of the unseen is with Allah alone. So wait, I too am waiting with you. The awaited, in the shadows of chaos, a beacon of light. With faith as his armor and justice as his sword, he leads the righteous. In a world of darkness, he shines as the guiding light of truth. With every step, a new era of justice and righteousness. Join me as we uncover untold truths about the life and legacy of Imam Al-Mahdi Al-Muntadar, exclusively on Imam Hussein TV. The Awaited. Imam Hussein Charity is giving you the chance to provide food baskets for destitute and impoverished families all over Iraq and Afghanistan. Each basket costs around £30, £35 roughly, and can feed a family of four. The 
food basket contains essentials such as flour, bread, tomato puree, oil. Um, they get different spices as well, salt, pepper, um, even you know like cinnamon. You get lentils, you get different vegetables, uh, meats, dates, tea, dried lemons, and not forgetting rice. Take advantage of this blessed month and help destitute and impoverished families. You can pay via bank transfer, PayPal, or visit us at www.imamusincharity.com. Give the gift of a healthy meal to a family in need by donating to our Food Basket campaign. Rahman Rahim, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So you are watching Seven Steps to Heaven on Imam Hussein TV 3, the best Islamic channel in the world and the best quiz show in the world. Your words, not mine. Don't get upset. Carry on drinking your Red Bull, your water, your juice. Carry on eating your sandwich. I go by the name of Yasser Hilfi. And before I say anything else, before I even welcome on my co host, I send my Upmost and most my esteemed congratulations <laughs> to the Imam of our time, hey. Imam Al Mahdi, Ajrullah Ta'ala Farajo Sharif, and upon the whole Muslim Ummah, all you viewers, and the Ummah itself, on the auspicious birth of Imam Al Hassan Al Mujtaba, Kareem Ahlul Bayt, alayhi salam, the son of Imam Ali, alayhi salam, the son of Fatima Al Zahra, which means the grandson of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As I said, my name is Yasir Hilfi and joining me today is the one and only, the king himself, the one that will recite today in honor of the holy birth. We have Mullah Rashid Haidah. Assalamu alaikum Mullah. Wa rahmatullah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. How's well. everything? Wallah, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. How's alhamdulillah. your family? Family is very well. How's your family? Alhamdulillah. How's my family woke up today on the right side of the bed okay. because it's the birth of Imam Hassan. So they need to be happy. They need to be joyous. They need Ahsad. to you know, celebrate, give the kids some sweets. But before going further, I ask you the most famous question that yes. we always ask at the start of every show. <laughs> what did you have for iftar today? Uh, so tonight, I um, <clears throat> so I have a rule. Okay. You, you know this rule. Okay. Where whenever I recite, I try to not eat before. Yes, yes. Or, or if I do, eat I eat very small. Yes. Um, yeah. So I had a few events today. One literally just before Maghrib, one straight after. So I didn't eat till about 10 p.m. Mashallah. In the goodie bag that they gave me, I found rice, a bit of shawarma. Ooh. They put garlic sauce, oh, chili sauce. They, care of you. they looked after me. Yes. Wallah, shout out to them. They know who Mashallah. they are. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. But yeah, alhamdulillah, it was a really nice iftar. Really nice, yeah, man. What about you? What did you have? Today, as, as you know, Mullah, every day is a Yeah, yeah, cuisine. he eats big. <laughs> <laughs> so, I expect nothing less. Yeah. So today I went Pakistani slash Indian. Oh, really? And uh, I had butter chicken. Uh, chicken karahi, lamb karahi. It was really nice. How was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had. Uh, you no, no, no. At my own house. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it was very, very oh, weird. Nice. I had um, naan bread. I had butter naan. Believe butter naan as well. All homemade. Huh? All homemade. All homemade. No way. Yeah, yeah. Today, That's big. may Allah bless my sister. She went different to the Iraqi Inshallah. style. Yeah, it was very nice. Very That's nice. That's amazing. Alhamdulillah. What can we do? You know, Allah <laughs> subhanahu wa taala has blessed us. So. What are we doing if we do not use that blessing? Allah. Mullah Rashid, yes. as you know, we had our last show on Saturday. Yes. And um, I'm going to stop there okay. because there's more important <laughs> things to talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which I just is heard it. the caller is ready and we say to the caller, Assalamu alaikum, your name and where you're calling from, please. Assalamu alaikum. I am from India. Mashallah. My name is Muzaffar. Mashallah, brother Muzaffar, yes. calling all the way from, from India. the great country of India, Allah. one of my favorite people, <laughs> and we know, and thank you so much, Habibi, brother Muzaffar, can I ask you, uh, have you had iftar today? Uh, yes, of course, it is, it is uh, our sahri time right, right now. Oh, mashallah, so you're going to have sahri, and inshallah you are going to win seven steps at the same time, mashallah. Inshallah, I hope so. 
Um, Baba Muzaffar, have you ever joined Seven Steps to Heaven before? Have you ever watched the episode or is this your first time? Not yet. Not yet. This is my first time. MashaAllah. So, Mullah Rash is going to do the honors by explaining to you yes. what Seven Steps is all about. Yes, Brother Muzaffar. So, essentially, Seven Steps to Heaven is it's in the name. You have to answer seven questions, and if you get them all right, you get a chance to go to heaven, i.e., Karbala, heaven on earth. So, essentially, it's a mix of true and falses, guess the picture, um, puzzles. It's a mix of things. But it's not too hard, and yes, I know that yes. you've got it, and inshallah, you are going to be our first winner on tonight's show, inshallah. So, if you are ready, Brother Muzaffar, we're going to get straight to it, inshallah. Allah and go straight to the first question which is actually at the shrine of the commander of the faithful Amir al muminin Ali bin Abi Talib salawatullahi wa salamuhu alayhi so brother Muzaffar are you ready yes I am ready perfect perfect let us do this so your first question is it is permissible or is it permissible to consume ostrich eggs and meat is that true or false? Your 30 seconds begin now. I think it's false. We think it's false. Right. AV team, I think he wants to lock in false. Let's check if this is right. Let's check. Brother, are you sure you want to say false? I would say true, to be honest. What would you say? Mm. Maybe, maybe that's a clue I just gave you. I would say true. Halal. I think it is, uh, it is halal. It is, it is true. It is true. Let's knock that in and see if you are right then. Allahu Akbar. Okay. MashaAllah. Brother Muzaffar, you are someone special. No help, no nothing. That's Straight from India, he knows. <laughs> Because, mashallah, there's a lot of ostriches in India, if you didn't know. Say, well, true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another random fact by Sheikh Yasser. Ali Khadim. <laughs> Baba Muzaffar, are there ostriches in India? No, 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 not. Oh, there is. Yeah, no. definitely. I was yeah. talking about Pakistan. Pakistan? Why? Why? Watch how Pakistan yeah, doesn't yeah. have any either. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Baba Muzaffar, your second step, inshallah. The question is, who rests in Masjid al-Kufa Besides Muslim bin Aqil and Mukhtar al Thaqafi, is it Kumail bin Ziyad? Is it Malik al Ashtar? Is it Hani bin Urwa? Or is it Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr? Very good question by the AV team. Thank you very much. 30 seconds is on the clock. Brother Muzaffar, who is buried besides Muslim ibn Aqil and Mukhtar al Thaqafi in Masjid al Kufa? If you want help, we can remove one of the options, my dear brother. We've uh, removed I Muhammad think... bin Abi Bakr. So now you have options one, two, and three only. You know, is it Khomein? Is it Malik? Is it the great Hani? Who is it, brother? Your time is running out. I need an answer, please, brother Muzaffar. Brother Muzaffar, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Baba Muzaffar, your time has run out. I need an answer, please. I think... I think uh, Malik... Uh, Hani bin Arwa. Oh. My dear Baba, unfortunately, because you have taken longer than 30 seconds, uh, we waited for you for over 45 seconds. We unfortunately cannot let you pass to the next step. And uh, I think, the correct I, 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 answer... I think Hani bin Arwa. The right answer was Hani bin Urwa. But, brother, you do not need to be disheartened. I said Hani bin Urwa. You do not need to be disheartened. I said Hani bin Urwa. I said Hani bin Urwa. I think uh, it was a network problem. I think so. You, um, my brother, dear brother Muzaffar, it's not about a delay. It's that uh, you took longer than 45 seconds to answer. And indeed, we need to be fair for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is the all fair. So if we let you go over 45 seconds, that means we need to let everyone go for 45 seconds. But it is the birth of Imam Hassan alayhi salam. So please call in again. Our hearts are full of joy today. And as well, if you look at the QR code underneath me and Mullah Rashid, if you scan it, you will be taken to the Imam Hussein charity website. And if you donate in the far pack, then guess what, brother? You don't need to trouble yourself by calling in again and doing the seven steps. But rather, if you donate in the far pack, you'll be put straight to 
into the raffle and have a, when we have a chance to go to Karbala, inshallah, if you win. Thank you so much for calling. Please call again. Please call again. Please call again. See you, inshallah. With that being said, Mullah Rashid, yes. our first caller. You know, uh, I get upset, honestly, and today is a happy occasion. Yeah, yeah. Today is a very happy occasion. Today everyone should have won. Yeah, today everyone should win, to be honest with you. But we don't cheat, yeah. unfortunately. We have to look, you know. You know, we have to follow the we rules. We have to follow the rules. Even though I don't like following yeah, rules, yeah. unless it's the rules of Allah, subhanahu Allah. wa ta'ala. <laughs> for oh, Allah is just. For Allah is just, and at the same time, He is the all-merciful. Allah. Allahu Akbar. Today we need to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Ahlul Bayt Ooh. as much as we can, Mullah. Ahsent. For indeed they are the guides that take us to Jannah. Allah. Allah. One with Haqqa. <laughs> with that being said, AV team is the next caller ready? With that being said then, he is Straight ready in. or she, so we ask the dear caller. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your name and where you're calling Straight from, in. please. Assalamu alaikum, dear caller, can you hear us? My name is Ali Majid, I'm 12 and I'm calling from Dearborn. MashaAllah. Dearborn. Dearborn. Assalamu alaikum, ya Dearborn. Assalamu alaikum, ya Dearborn. MashaAllah, brother Ali, how are you? Inshallah, you're well. Yeah, I'm good. Perfect. How are you? How are you? How are you? Speaker. Um, the, uh, Brother Ali, let me ask you two very important questions. First question is, is Mama and Baba next to you to help you? Yes. Very, very good. Thank you for the parents. Second question is, are you fasting this year? Yeah, I'm fasting. This is my first year. MashaAllah. Sure, MashaAllah, that's very, very nice to hear, Brother Ali. With that being said, I'm going to take you straight to the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam, a place that inshallah you and mama and baba and your brothers and sisters can go to one day. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Inshallah, inshallah. Say Ameen. Ilahi Ameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen. For indeed Mullah Rashid's du'as get answered. <laughs> <laughs> so Ali, we ask you the first question oh, and gosh. it is, if a plane, <laughs> if a plane traveled 44 <laughs> kilometers vertically instead of horizontally, Prayer would be shortened. Is that true or false? Shout out to Hakam SOS because if you watch them every single day at 8.30, you would know the answer to this question. <laughs> Baba Ali, actually come up with yeah, yeah, I swear to God we answered. Seriously? But we answered if you are in a spaceship in space, huh? where do you pray to? Where's the Qibla? Oh, do you know the answer? That's <laughs> What's the answer? What's the answer? Uh, it doesn't need to be strict to the Kaaba more. Yes, I have the Sheikh next to us. With that being said, Ali, I think this is a very hard question, so I'm going to see if I can give him the right answer. AB team, can we just... Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, right? it's, it's pretty delayed yeah, on my screen. Not so <laughs> um, okay. Uh, what did he say, Ali? It's delayed. It's delayed. I know it is, but I, thought, I think I heard you say it's true. You said it's Am true. Right? No, Ali, you said true, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yes, I yes, yes, I yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, Baba Ali, the message to you and your parents is, if I ask you a worded question, you cannot look at your TV screens because the TV screen is a bit delayed. So you have to go with the times that we are giving you over the phone. However, if it's a question that has an image or a puzzle, we wait for it to pop up on your screen. So please don't look okay, at your thank screen. You. And see the delay and then later on use that as an excuse. Rather, just answer us on the phone and inshallah me and Rashid will help you as much as we can. Yeah, yeah. Mulla, take it away. Ahsent, ahsent. And now on to the second question. Sorry about it, bro. Come oh, on. Sorry, Afan, bro. Mawlid Imam al-Hasan. Mawlid al-Hasan. Haq, haq. Ahsent, ya Allah. <laughs> the second question is, Ali. Identify the leader of the Kufan uprising this seeking retribution for Imam Hussein. Allah alayhi salam. Yeah. Is it Mukhtar al Thaqafi? Is it Hani bin Arwa? Is it Ibrahim bin Malik al Ashtar? Malik al Ashtar? Malik al Ashtar? Okay. Or is it Maytham al Tamar? So, just to make the question a bit easier for you, Brother Ali, who took revenge upon the blood that was spilt for Imam Hussein alayhi salam? Was it out of the four names that we mentioned? If you like, AV team, let's take away one of the wrong answers. We took away Maytham al Tamar. So it's either option one, two, or three. With that being said, you have 10 seconds to answer, Brother Ali. 10 seconds. 
Mukhtar al Thakafi. With that being said, Ali, I'm going to help you because indeed you are right. Well done to you and your parents. Mukhtar al Thakafi was the one that took revenge upon the blood that was spilt for Imam Hussein alayhi salam. May Allah be pleased with him and the people that were with him. Before I ask you the next question, Brother Ali, do you know whose great, great birthday it is today? Imam al Hassan. Imam al Hassan alayhi salam. Yes, you're right. What are you going to do to celebrate today? I'm going to give you a clue. You should go to Mama and Baba and ask them for some Eid money because today is a very auspicious occasion. <laughs> okay. Ali, this, this question is guess the image. So we're going to wait for it to pop up on your screen. You just need to let me know if it's on your screen yet or not. It's, it's on my screen. It's on your so screen. So 30 seconds is on the clock. It's a Can really hard one, Ali. Who is this reciter? Is it Rashid Al Haydar? Is it Jalal, uh, Jalil Al Karbalai? Is it Nadim Sarwar? Or is it the great man himself, Nazar Al Qatari? Who is this mullah? I think this is a very easy one because you've been talking to him this whole show. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's Ta a hard question. I think I'm gonna have to go with three. With three? Three? Mullah Nazar, you're joking, right? There's five seconds left. Ali! Yeah. So, um, you, which option do you wanna go with? Say the name. Mullah Nazar. Think about it. Wait, think about it, Baba Baba Ali. Look at the image and then look at this guy. <laughs> look at the image and then look Ali, at this guy. I want to help you. Come on, Ali. Okay. Mama and Baba, please. Um, don't let Nadim Sawar. Nadim Sawar. Nadim Sawar. <laughs> okay, okay. AV team, lock in number one. Lock in number one. Okay. Don't Baba Ali. This is the last time I'm going to help you, <laughs> but this is Rashid Haidar. I think if you look at the image <laughs> and look at the guys sitting next to me, they're the same people. <laughs> Come on, Ali. Uh, you know why Ali doesn't know it's you? It's because you're not that famous. Well, that's what I'm saying. You're not that good. I'd be honored to be compared to Nazar. <laughs> <laughs> Ali Majid, don't worry. We gave you the right answer because you're fasting and you're 12 years old. And we love the people from Dearborns. For you are Dearborns. Dearborns. <laughs> Dearborns. Every day is something Thank new. But Baba Ali, I can't help you anymore. I've given you all the lifelines I can. From now on, you're on your own. Okay. Okay, let's go. Mullah Rashi, take it away. Right. The next question, Ali, is where will Imam Mehdi take as residence upon his reappearance? Is it Kufa? Is it Sahla? Is it Mecca? Or is it Karbala? Where will Imam Mehdi take as residence upon his reappearance? Ya Rab. 30 seconds Kufa. begin now. Ooh, let, let's help. Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay. Um, uh, you have 20 seconds to answer, Kufa. Ali. Ali, you have 20 seconds to answer. All I'm going to help you with, I'm not going to give you the right answer. Just think about the difference between maybe where his army will be, where his base will be, and where his house will be. There's two different places. Do you want to lock in Kufa? Kufa. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. Well, that should take away. That was your uh. question. Yeah, we have to be fair. I have to be fair. Yeah. Ali, it's with a heavy heart that uh, unfortunately you got that question wrong. Um, <clears throat> so unfortunately, for now, you are not going to be going forward in the competition. Um, but, 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 there <clears throat> is a way that you can still win. You can still be successful. The first way is that um, you can actually call in again. Uh, we take unlimited calls on all callers. So even if you didn't make it today, you can still call back um, on our next show and you can take part and inshallah you can be victorious. The second way is that if you see just down here, okay, just down here, um, if you scan that QR code, you ask Mama or Baba to scan that QR code, you can make a donation. For every donation that you make is one draw into the hat, where if your name gets pulled out, you get to win a chance to go to Ziara. So, 
I've given you two options now. You either call back in or you make a donation or you do both. But Ali, I want you to come back because I want you to win. I really want to see you in Karbala. So inshallah, inshallah, Ali, we want to hear your voice again very soon. Yes. Mr. Thank you very much for yes, calling. Sir. Brother Thank Ali, you. please pray for us. Thank you to your parents for letting you call in. And don't forget us in your du'as. And may Allah give you health and strength for fasting this year as a 12-year-old. Thank you so much. With that being said, we straight go straight to the deep end and say, Assalamu alaikum, they call your name and where you're calling from. Wa alaikum assalam. My name is Muhammad Haidar. I'm calling from uh, Virginia, USA. MashaAllah. Our first Virginian. MashaAllah. Yes. <laughs> Our first person calling in all the way from the United States of Canada, America, all the way from Virginia, one of the best states in the world. And his name was? Oh, Muhammad Haidar. Muhammad Haidar, mashallah. What a better name. Baba Muhammad Haidar, let me ask you two very important questions. First is, how old are you? I'm 11 years old. You're 11 years old, so you're a year younger than the... Uh, uh, it seems like you're the, one of the youngest that called in today. One of the youngest that called in today. And we see that... Um, you called in from Virginia, so I want to ask you one important question again. Is that, are you fasting this Ramadan? Uh, not today. Ah, not today. Well, that's fine. Don't worry, you're too young anyways. But inshallah, you get to fast one day and feel the pain that me and Mullah Rashid go through every single day. To break up fast at 6 p.m. <laughs> it's really it's hard. really hard. <laughs> really. You know, I say that, but then obviously Sunday, the time's is smooth. Yes, yes. So, seven forty. we're gaining an extra yeah. hour. With that being said, brother Muhammad Haidar from Virginia, we're going to ask you your first question. Make sure that mommy and daddy are next to you so they're able to help you if the question is hard. But I think, I think this one will be easy, inshallah, which is Mecca is the name of the city, while Bakka is the name of the site of the Grand Mosque. That doesn't make sense, so I'm going to ask it more importantly. Think of the city of Mecca. Brother Muhammad Haidar, in Mecca, what is that special holy place called? Is it called Becca? Is that true or false? It's true. Oh, it's false. What? Sorry. It's false. For an extra point, what's the real name? Uh, I... it's, it rhymes God, with Becca. Is it what? Oh. Uh, Mecca. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. But guess what, Brother Muhammad? I'm going to help you because I've helped every single person on this show. Um, instead of false, try say the other one to me. What's the other option you have? True. True. Oh my God, you are right. <laughs> Masha Allah. How did you know it was true? Oh my um, God. What a lucky guess. Muhammad is, just, you're just too smart. That's the thing. What a Thank lucky you. guess. I said to him, I said to him. What right, a so, lucky, lucky. Muhammad, you have got that first question right, which means that we slowly and swiftly move on to the next question, which is, who attempted to assert the imamate following the martyrdom of Imam Askari? Was it Abu Tahir al-Bilali, al Ghani, Muhammad bin Nusayr, or Ja'far bin Imam Hadi? Who attempted to assert the imamate following the martyrdom of Imam Askari? It's quite a hard one. Yeah. Uh, number four. Sorry? Number four. Number four? Okay, AV team. Mm -hmm. Let's just lock that in. And you are correct. Well done. Well done, Muhammad. You have got that correct. We are going to move straight on to the next question, which is at the Imam Hussein TV3 Studios. All the way at pole 1114. Which is your, the, which is your gateway to Karbala. Karbala. With that being said, brother Muhammad Haidar, this is guest the reciter. The person before yes, you found it a bit harder, but inshallah you'll find it easier. 
I'm going to wait for the image to pop up on your screen. You need to tell me who is this great reciter. Is it Farhan Ali Waris? Is it Mir Hassan Mir? Is it Nadim Al Sarwar? Or is it Mulla Basim Al Karbalai? King, 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 king. Has the image popped I think up on it's your screen? Mir yeah, I think Wait, he locked that in quick. Could you say? Mir Hassan Mir. Wow. Yeah. Bismillah, wa billah, wa Let's lock that in. And brother Muhammad, I, I must say, I really like how wow. quick you are with the answers. Inshallah, you'll be our first winner. For you have both the names of essentially both the fathers of Imam Hassan. Muhammad and Haydar. Right, the next question, Muhammad, is yes. what is the honorary title of Imam Mahdi? Oof. Is it Abu Qasim? Is it Abu Saleh? Allah. Is it Abu Muhammad? Hello. Or is it Abu Hassan? Abu Hassan. What is the honorary title of Imam Mahdi? Muhammad, you have 30 seconds. With that being said, let's remove one of the options for brother Muhammad Haydar. AV team, let's remove three for the birth of, for the birth of Imam, of Imam Hassan. Al Hassan. Let's remove that. Muhammad, I have faith in you. Hassan, Mawla. You never know. Maybe it's Abu Muhammad. You never know. Maybe it's Abu Saleh. Maybe it's Abu Qasim. I With that being said, you have Abu seven seconds. Sorry? I think it's number one. You think it's number one? Are you sure not Abu Muhammad? Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. You're right. Indeed, it is Abel Qasim, for he was the father of Qasim, the one that was martyred alongside Imam Hussein on Yom Ashura. But with that being said, we, as we said, we are having a joyful day today. Allahu Akbar. Imam Hassan alayhi hey, salam was Hassan Mawla. 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 Baba Muhammad Haydar, can you see the word on your screen? Yes. Okay, let's give him one of the letters, AV team, and we're going to put the letter A, or I don't know what letter, I, in the I second <laughs> position. Do you know the word, Rashid? I've told you I'm really bad well, at these. Q I. You know how it oh, sounds. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 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 Baba Muhammad Haydar, I believe in you. Let's start Muhammad the 30 second timer. I believe in you, Baba Muhammad Haydar. Think of it, there's an I, there's a Q, there's a H, there's an M, there's an A, there's an A. Come on, you got this. You got this. You got this. Think. Is Where it would Qiyama? The... Sorry? Qiyama. Qiyama. With conviction. I was going to say a question mark. Let's lock in Qiyama for indeed Qiyama. you are right. Ahsent. Ahsent Muhammad. You are doing a fantastic job, by Masha the way. MashaAllah. Well done to we you. We are moving swiftly onwards to the sixth stage. You're second to last, by the way. You're very close. Very, very close. So let's keep this up, inshaAllah. Muhammad. By the way, how long do you have to lift up? Uh, we, we already had iftar. Already had iftar? Yeah. Oh, yes. Nice, 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 nice. What did you have tonight? Uh, we had quesadillas. Quesadillas? Wow! Oh, yes! Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, is that a Mexican dish? Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah, wow. You beat me to it. I was going to have tacos tomorrow, but you beat me to it. Beef tacos, I'm going to have tacos. Well, I'm telling you this one. Where did you get this huh? from? <laughs> right, let's ask the question. Um, so, the sixth question, Muhammad, is who served as the third representative of Imam Mahdi during the minor occultation? Was it Hussein bin Ruh al Nawbakhti? Was it Ali bin Mehziar al Ahwazi? Allah. Was it Ali bin Ibrahim? Al -Qum? Oh, we gave you the wrong question to read, yes. Or was it Muhammad bin Afma al Asadi? Al Asadi. Who served as the third representative of Imam Mahdi during the minor occultation? Bismillah wa billah. Uh. Let's remove one of the options. This is quite a hard one if someone hasn't studied the life of Imam Mahdi. Bow your head. I think it's number one. You think it's number one? 
Are you sure? Yes. Mm-hmm. Bismillah. Mm -hmm. So with that, mm -hmm, I tell you <laughs> that you are correct, brother Muhammad Haydar. MashaAllah, Tabarak Ar-Rahman. The last question. Last question. Last brother question. Muhammad, you will be our first caller to reach the seventh step. And inshallah, may Allah, his prophet and wali be with you. For I believe in you. Your parents believe in you. Your great grandparents believed in you. And they didn't even need to, mashallah. And I say to you that this is, guess the puzzle. You need to put the six images into the correct place. And inshallah, within Thank one you. minute, if you do not, you will not pass. But I know you will. Because you have the love of Nabi Muhammad in your heart. And you are named after him, mashallah. Allah. Allah. Allah, Allah. Bismillah. Okay, has think, the image popped up um, on the screen, Brother Muhammad? Yes, it has. Okay, mashallah. Let's put one minute on the clock. Brother Muhammad, we have given you that F goes in the first position. So maybe now you know where D goes. Yeah, uh, D6. 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 Mashallah. D6. Um, B2. B2. A5. A5. But uh, everything he said, uh, D6. Yes, carry on. Uh, you only C4. have two left. C and E in the positions of three or four. 20 seconds C4. on the clock. What did and you say? E3. C4. C4 and, and E3. E and E3. Oh, yes. MashaAllah, AV team. Let's lock that in. And we wait for the beautiful graphics to go off because it's going to be a little clap. Thank you very Thank you for your help. Baba Muhammad, let me tell you something. You didn't have any help from us, but rather you had help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your parents. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to your parents. For you are one smart little boy because you get seven questions right, which means you will receive your first ring made out of the shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, delivered to your front seat. As it's well as that, I want to tell your parents a message so make sure they can hear me because I want to tell them two things. First, I want to thank them for letting you call in today. Second, I want to tell them that your name will be put into a draw at the end of the show and if your name is taken out, you will win. However, we have glad tidings to give you that if you donate using the QR code under me to Imam Hussein Charity to help a impoverished family, impoverished family and help them break their fast, we will put your name again into the draw. Now, Mullah Rashid, how does someone win a raffle? If you don't mind me asking, how does it work? Via probability. Probability. So, <laughs> brothers and sisters, because it's over probability, to your parents and to the viewers, the more you donate, and the more you donate eh? to these iftar eh? packs, the more times we'll put your name into the hat. Which means which what? Which means you the have a chance. bigger and a better chance of winning a free trip to Jannah, i.e. Karbala. Thank you so much, Brother Muhammad Haider, for calling. Remember me in your du'as. Remember Rashid. Remember the AV team. But remember me first. With that being said, Khuda, Hafiz, Fima, La, Wa Hafdahi. Rashid. Are you going to read that Quran verse for me? Of the first. Can read that Quran verse for me? The Quran verse. Yeah, read. Or are we just, are we just here just discussing yeah. Yeah, yeah, live, on, live on TV? Yeah, read it for me. I'm just going to read it normally. Yeah, yeah, read it for me. Read it normally. Say well, Yeah, well. Okay. Oh, I wanted Mullah Rashid to uh, recite. Should we wait? I really wanted to read, man. But inshallah, we're going to go to the next caller because they're ready. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Caller. Wow, low blow. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mashallah. Mashallah, mashallah. If we could please get your name and where you are calling from. Are you speaking to Saliha? I'm calling from Durban, South Africa. South Africa. MashaAllah. The South Africans, they're, they're killing the, it. The South Africanos are killing it. <laughs> calling in. MashaAllah. <laughs> MashaAllah. <laughs> Sister Saliha, welcome to Seven Steps to Heaven. Welcome to Imam Hussein TV3. I heard you say before that Seven Steps is the best quiz show. Did I hear correctly? That's what I heard as well. That's, to be honest. I heard that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Of course, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. MashaAllah. 10 points for you. MashaAllah. <laughs> With that being said, Sister Salaha, have you ever watched Seven Steps before or is this your first time? 
Now, I have been watching. I've been setting an alarm for half past one South African time in the morning just to Oof. catch the show live. <laughs> MashaAllah. <laughs> That's dedication. Well, let's ensure that, inshaAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his prophet and his wali are with you to help you. For we want you to win on this auspicious occasion. For it is the birth of the grandson of Rasulullah. The first grandson of Rasulullah to be born. Kareem Ahlul Bayt. The joy, the pride of mm. the Ahlul Bayt. Imam Al Hassan alayhi salam. Mm -hmm. With that. Let's be here, and Nara. Nara! Oh. And I'm about to pass out. Anyway. <laughs> With that being said, let's take you straight to the gates of Imam Ali. Right. To your first question. And I ask you, all divine messages convey the call to the unity of Allah and worshipping Him exclusively. Is that true or false? False or true? It's true. MashaAllah. Let's lock that in. That was a pretty easy question. Because we know that the South Africano Africini Eat. Know their Islamic knowledge very well. Exactly. Mashallah. And they're all very on it. Yes. Yeah, they, they, they are not. They're not messing about. They're not messing about. <laughs> <laughs> they're not here to play. They're not. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They're with that being said, Mullah Rashid, take with it away. That we are, we are go now to virtually over Wadi Salam, Salam, the largest cemetery in the world. Hey. Right. The second question, Sister Saliha, is In what event was Surah 3, verse 61? Come. Let us gather our children and your children. Wow. Okay. Please be quiet, Mullah so Rashid. Do not. I apologize. Please, please forgive me. Please don't, forgive me. don't joke. She please said. Forgive option me. number two. She said Mubahala. Yes. Uh, she said. She said Mubahala, Mullah Rashid. Unfortunately, you were beaten to it. Don't need to put your, sister, your sentence, Sister Sahilaha. You are correct, mashallah. Indeed, it was the event of Mubahala for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam decided that his nafs mm. was Ali and Fatima and oh. her two, two children, Hassan and then Hussein, while they were only at the ages of three and two. Mashallah. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Allahu Akbar. With that being said, Sister Saliha, this is Guess the Place. We're going to wait for the image to pop up on the screen. And you're going to have to tell me which holy shrine this belongs to. Is it Baqi? Is it Medina? Is it Mecca? Or is it the holy, holy, holy shrine of Imam Hussein in Karbala? Can That's you see Medina the image? Medina al-Manawara. Medina al-Manawara. Wow. Again, no timer. No nothing, no thought process, it's just quick, yeah. boom, quick answer. Quick fire. With that being said, of course you are correct, yeah. Sister Saliha. And we take you straight into the next question. We take you away from the live show happening at IHTV. And we take you to Mullah Rash's dream car, the Mercedes Sprinter. Sending <laughs> SNG <laughs> service to the satellite. Ya <laughs> Rabbil <laughs> Alameen. Yes. Never say smart. <laughs> yeah, I got it right, I got it right. <laughs> But I'll right. take it away, please. Why do I always get these long questions? Anyway, so the next question, Sister <laughs> Salah, is what name is given to the hadith that states, I leave behind for you two weighty two. things, the book of Allah and my Ahlul Bayt? Was it in hadith? hadith? Again, 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 again. Mullah Rashid, please be quiet. You do not need to finish your sentence. I, I need Sister some Salah, you are correct, mashallah. Because Sister Saliha was not here to mess about, not here to play about, mess about, none she's, of it. She's been watching, so she's, she's been watching, and then now she's just like, yeah. I know exactly what's going to happen. What's the point of hearing your Except options when what? I know the right one? <laughs> MashaAllah. The Africanos from South are right. Can you see the question of guess the word now on your screen? This is the one that always gets me. This is? This is easy for me. Say Wallah. Wallah, this is easy. Wallah, There's know. a Z and a K. Think of it. Wallah, Z. Z. There's no sword like the Zulfikar. Allahu Akbar. Ahsanti, Sister Saliha, indeed you are correct. Well, Rasha, you are bad. Man. There's well, a Z and a Q. I told you, guess the word is the one thing I just can't. I'm not good at it. Yeah, you, you would have lost this show. Well done for you. You're the presenter and you just need to read the question. 
Shout out to the beef tacos that Mohammed Haidar ate today. Inshallah, <laughs> we can eat them as well. No, we had quesadillas. They're the same thing in Get my it. eyes. Wallah, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> one's a sandwich, another one's just bread. Anyway. Wow. wow. On to the next one. On to the next one. On and we ask one. you the great question. Which is? Is it me or you? you. I think, is, is it me? Me, me, me. Right. What is the meaning of the title Al-Baqir? Is it the splitter of knowledge? Oof. Is it the most generous servant? Mm. The forbearant one? Or adornment of the worshippers? The split of knowledge. MashaAllah, lock in number one. For indeed, Al Baqar is Baqar al Ilm. Hey. The splitter of God's knowledge. Ya Allah. For he split it open and shared it to the nation of Muhammad. SubhanAllah. Subhanallah. Wa Subhanallah. Wa With that being said, Sister Salah, if you look at your screens, you're looking virtually at the gates of Imam Hussein, the best doors on earth, the best doors to exist on earth. And, and we ask you to solve the puzzle. So essentially, it's six images that have been jumbled up and we want you to put them in the correct order. With that being said, AV team, let's put, give a one correct answer, which is A1. 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 Can you see the image, sister? Sister Salah, okay, can you see on the my image? screen now. Perfect. So one minute is on the clock. It's sister Salah, let's go. E six. I didn't hear sorry. E six. E six. Mashallah. Let's six. carry on. F five. F five. B2 B2 D4 B yes which leaves and C3 which leaves C for 3 Allah. and mashallah sister you are our second winner in a row thank you Huh? Yes, mashallah, Sister Saleha, I think this is the first time I'm ever going to say this, that you honestly deserve the win, for you didn't let Mullah Rashid finish his sentence once, yeah, I never asked the a question. answer before it was asked, <laughs> unfortunately not the best of akhlaq, but she won seven steps to heaven, all the way from South I'm Africa, so mashallah, no, we're only joking with you, <laughs> Sister Saleha, thank you so much for calling in. As I say to you, you will receive a ring from the shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam as well as being put into a draw. If you win the draw, you will go to Karbala free of charge. And we give you the, the glad tidings that if you scan the QR code under Mullah Rashid's shin or knee, I can say, then it will take you to Imam Hussein Charity's website to donate an iftar pack. Now, what better act to do, do in Shahar Ramadan than break the fast of an orphan and his siblings and indeed if you do that not only will we put your name once into the draw but we'll put it twice if you do it again three times four times opportunities infinity thank you so much for calling Salama. pray for us and we'll pray for you too all the way from south africa next call is ready Mullah Rashid, we have taken orders from the Almighty and they have said, please recite for our dear viewers. Ah. For today is one of the best days for Imam Hassan alayhi salam was born amongst one of the best months hey. in the eyes of Allah. So we must remember him for he is Kareem Ahdil Bay. Take out your phone. Let's, <laughs> let's hear a lyric or two. All right, let's hear a lyric or two. Lyric or two. I'm Which going one, to get yes, ready. Um, can, I get, can I get the English one for now, please? The English one? Yes, please. Okay. Yes. Hey. Make sure the effects are ready, AV team. Hey. Can we get the effects? Can we? Can he hear himself? Is that effects, the effects, yes. the effects, the effects. You're going to hear yourself on the speaker. Bismillah. Let's go. Al Hasan, we celebrate. Oh, hello. Let's go. Yalla, yalla. Celebrate on this day he was a boy. Al Hasan, we celebrate on this day he was a boy. Al Hasan, we celebrate on this day he was born. Al Hasan, we celebrate on this day he was born. Hey, Ramadan the fifteenth. On this night, Jibril speaks. 
The prophet's face is bright with Hassan's holy light. Who is this young newborn directly from God's throne? Bringing joy to Zahra, this is El Mujtaba. Bringing joy to Zahra, this is El Mujtaba. On this night, Medina shines the shining of the full moon. Al Hassan has graced the earth and blessings all for <laughs> Oh, I wish they could see what we just saw. Brother of Al Hussein and his support through and through. That's why today we celebrate, clap and call his name too. Al Hassan, we celebrate. Hey, on this day it was a ball. Al Hassan, we. Hey, on this day it was a ball. Al Hassan, we celebrate. On this day it was a ball. Hey, on this day. Hey, 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 hey. I like I I celebrate on this day. Hey, as he walks the birds chirp, heaven smiles at his birth. Kaaba house of Allah bows towards him from far. Your grave I want to see. One day a shrine there'll be. Your Shia will roam free, celebrate happily. One day we'll visit Baki and there we'll see a. <laughs> Visitors from everywhere will come with their desires. Oh, I said through you, I know I'll be safe from the fire. Your love is the only thing that will <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah, محمد وآل محمد صلى على محمد وآل محمد السلام عليكم they call your name and where you're calling from my name is Javed Abbas I'm calling from the USA from the United States of America please tell me what state you're from so I can judge if I love you or not California California I definitely like you my brother where from California San Francisco. Ah, oh, San Francisco. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the Golden State Warriors are a part of your team, yes? Your, your place? Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, I'm a Golden State Warriors fan. Since when? Since day seven. St Stephen Curry. S huh? Stephen Curry. Stephen. The big three. Yeah. You have to love them, my brother. Dunk. Please. Bismillah wa billah. With that being said, um, uh, my brother, uh, I forgot his name. What Jabed was his name? Abbas. Jabed Abbas, mashallah. Two beautiful names, but one being better, for he is the brother of Imam Al Hassan, Jabed, the protector Jabed, of Imam Al Hassan Abbas. I said two names Jabed Abbas. Jabed? Jabed. Javid Abbas. The does not exist in Arabic, so I changed it. Okay. I love you though. Fair enough. With that being said, brother Javid, all the way from the United States of California, San Francisco, supporting GSW Golden State Warriors, I ask you. Abba Dhar had a son called Dhar and a daughter called Dhara. Is that true or false? Bismillah. Mm -hmm. Um, false. Let let me help you, my brother. Uh, where are you from originally? Uh, Africa. Africa. Okay, so you're not of Arabic tongue. When someone says you are Abu Dhar, that means you are the father of Dhar. So let me ask you again. Oh, sorry. True. 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 That's not the end. Allah. Salli ala Muhammad. Ali Muhammad. Ahsentum, brother. Brother, brother, Javid Abbas, you are indeed correct. He did have a son called Dhar. May Allah be pleased with him. And a daughter called Dhara or Dhariya, if we can call her that. With that being said, Mullah Rasha, take it away. Right. The next question for you, brother Javid, is who engaged in combat against Imam Ali mm. during the Battle of Jamal? Was it the Khawarij? Was it Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan? 
Was it Aisha binti Abi Bakr or was Allah. it the Romans? Who engaged in combat against Imam Ali during the Battle of Jamal? Your 30 seconds, my dear brother, begins now. Bismillah. Who engaged in combat with Imam Ali during the Battle of Jamal? Jamal, sorry. I think this is a very important uh, one. Aisha bint Abi Bakr, number ah, three. Aisha bint Abi Bakr. Number three, and indeed we locked that in. It seems like you've been watching Sayyid Amar Naqshwani's shows at 7.30, for indeed you are correct. It was Aisha bint Abi Bakr. With that being said, we move on swiftly because I do not want to remember the names of the enemies of the Ahlul Bayt, but I want to remember the names of people like Abbas, Javid, and Imam Hassan alayhi salam. With that being said, Mullah Rashid, Javid Abbas, Javed Abbas, Javed Abbas, Javed Abbas, Javed Abbas. With that being said, Javed Abbas, we're going to wait for the image to pop up on your screen. It's guess the place, guess the shrine, guess the holy mosque, whatever you want to call it. What, please let me know when it's on your screen. Your options are in the holy shrine of Imam Hussein, the holy shrine of Hazrat Abbas, the holy shrine of Al Askariyain, or the holy shrine of Al Kadhimain. Um, yeah, I just popped up on my screen. It just right popped now. up on the screen. 30 seconds on the clock. Shouldn't show up, Shabab. Okay. Oh. Look at the image. Look at the minarets. Look at the dome. The size of the dome. You know, look where the image was taken. I don't know if you've ever been to Iraq. But uh, I can help you by removing one option, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to do that. And I've removed the option of Hazrat Abbas. With that being said, you have five seconds. Um, as, as, is as. it the shrine of, as of the shrine of Qadamain? As I said, as about 14 times. Um, we're going to have to lock in Al Qadamain. <coughs> and unfortunately, Brother Javid oh. Abbas. Yes, Javid Abbas, my brother. Unfortunately, you are incorrect. For the holy shrine of Al Qadamain, have two domes to portray that there are two holy imams. And it has four minarets, not two minarets. With that being said, brother, 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 Javed Abbas, all the way from San Francisco, thank you so much for calling. But I would like to tell you that if you look at the QR code under me that's going to pop up now, if you donate to Imam Hussein Charity and if Tarpak and Feed an Orphan, we will put your name into the raffle at the end of the show and you might still have a chance to go to Karbala free of charge and please call in again so you can get so you can get a chance to maybe win a ring made out of the marble of Imam Hussein. With that being said, thank you so much for calling Brother Javid. I really liked calling you. Please stay in contact. I want to come to San Francisco. I want to link up with you. We need to play some hoops. Mudarashid, any last words? Take care of yourself, Brother Javid. Inshallah, we will see you very soon. With that being said, Khuda Hafiz. Viewers, please take a look at this beautiful video by Imam Hussein Charity. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. We are back on oh. and we are back on with that being said we are now back on youtube back on seven step seven you're watching it i'm watching it are you watching it Mullah Rashid? i'm watching why are you lying i'm watching you're not watching you're in the show you're presenting i'm watching two different things gallop <laughs> with that being said we go to our next caller and we tell them assalamu alaikum they call her your name and where you're calling from that if you look at the QR code under me, that's going to Wale. pop up now. If you donate to Imam Hussein Charity, Walaikum Salam, I'm Rubal. MashaAllah, River. You're, uh, where are you calling from? De River. B Rabab, sorry. De Rabab, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Pakistan. MashaAllah, all the way from the motherlands of half of our AV team. MashaAllah, where from Pakistan? I'm from Rawal Pindi. Rawal Pindi. Oh, MashaAllah. My great Allah. friend Sayyid Muhsin Shah is from Rawal Pindi. It's a beautiful place, I, I, I must I, say. I have, to, I have to recite a bit of Urdu. Please. Please. Can we get effects from Mother Rashid's voice? Shabab, Go on. please. Hussein Abad. No, I can. Allah. Nijad. 
ساتھ لے جاؤ حسین بات رہے نجات لے Recites in every language in God's green earth. Masha Allah, Sister Rabab. Inshallah, you like that recitation? Ahsan, Ahsan. Yeah, yeah. Masha yeah, Allah. I like Mir Hassan Mir. Yes, Mir Hassan Mir is the best. But there is one person better than yeah. him, and then indeed that is Mullah <laughs> Rashid <laughs> Haida. <laughs> Sister Rabab, I ask you a first question. May Allah be with you. May the people of Raul Bindi be with you. Ya Allah. And I ask you, Lady <laughs> Khadija. <laughs> Was the one who asked for the Prophet's hand in marriage. Is that true and false? True or false, sorry. True or false, yes. It's a very beautiful story. This yeah. Story. No, what would you it, say, sister? It's true. I, I can't hear you, I apologize. It's true. You said it's true? It's true. It's true, mashallah. Yeah, it's true. What a beautiful story. For Sayyidah Khadija did not follow the norms of her time. Indeed, it was known that the man proposes to the woman but say the Khadija removed pride and she indeed proposed and went to take Rasulullah's hand in marriage what a beautiful story Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar with that being said I say Nabi Muhammad Haq when the last take so away much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So much comes from it. here comes ah, from the heart may Allah bless you right the next question for you, Sister Rubab, is Oof. which prayer is renowned for its abundant rewards? So many rewards, mashallah. Is it Nafilatul Fajr? Allah is it Salatul Ghafayla? Is it Salatul Layl? Layl or Salah. is it Salatul Ayat? Uh, ayat al Quran, <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Uh, it's Salatul Layl? Salatul Layl? With conviction, uh, with belief. Yes. Let's lock that in for Sister Rabab. Salatul Layl. Um, are you sure, Sister Rabab? Well, we have five seconds left, so I think we're going to confirm that Salatul Layl was correct, Sister Rabab. For indeed, Ra'ul Pindi is teaching you the right knowledge of Islam, mashallah. Mullah Rasha, take it away. Oh, it was me, right? Next question, but I'm happy to do this as well. Uh, please do it. Bismillah. Because I love ya when Allah. you talk and I hear your voice. Habibi, Habibi. Most habibi. viewers are watching for you, Mullah Rasha, as I said, not for me. <laughs> I wish I gave this to you. Anyway, which companion of Imam Ali alayhi salam is associated with a supplication named after him? Allah. So which companion of Imam Ali alayhi salam is associated with a supplication essentially named after him. Is it Maytham al Tamar? Is it Kumail ibn Ziyad? Is it Malik al Ashtar? Or is it Abu Hamza al Thumali? Uh, you read this dua quite often. I must say, you read it, I think, every Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, sister. Maybe that's a good hint. I think it's Kumail ibn Ziyad. Second. Kumail ibn Ziyad. Dua. Khumayn ibn Ziyad ah, taught by Ali ibn Abi Talib, the greatest that I recite on earth. Allah to me. Yes, I do care. Yeah, it's Kumar. Right, I sent him. Fa'ilayka ya Rabbi. Shout out to the Mercedes Sprinter. Sending SMG service straight. To the satellites of Imam Shout Hussain out to TV, MSA. bringing it to your things. Yeah. Shout out to all the shows on Imam Hussain TV, especially Ahkam SOS and Shia Voice. Maybe Which, after this, the pay rise is incoming. <laughs> exactly. Ya Rab, <laughs> with that being said, I ask you, Sister Rabab, for how long did Imam Ali alayhi salam's caliphate last? Was it three years and eight years? Was it five years and eight? Uh, was it three years and eight months? Was it five years and eight months? Was it six years and eight months? Or was it four years and eight months? Mm. Uh, four years and eight months. Four years and eight months. Mm. I think 
I yeah. think, I think, and I think. Are you sure with that answer, sister Rabab? Should we remove one, maybe? Let's uh, remove one of the options. I think four and eight. You think four and eight? Bismillah wa billah. Let's lock in four and eight. And I'll confirm to you, sister Rabab, that indeed you are correct. Oh. MashaAllah, Ra'ul Pindi getting them all right. The Ra'ul Pindians are very, very smart. Allah Allah. As yes. you can tell, viewers, Yasa's geography is immense. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, it's in the it's in the south of uh, Pakistan. Did you ever do geography in GCSE? No, no, I've done history. You're not, thank God. <laughs> Next. <laughs> this is the first one I've actually gotten straight away. Okay, good. Because if you didn't, that would have been very disturbing. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. So, Sister Rufab, um the next question is guess the word. It's going to pop up on your screen. Uh, when it does, let me know. Basically, you have to put the word, the uh, letters in the right place. I would think of you, we need to play some hoops. Would that answer any last words? Sister, 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 sister Rabab, can you turn off the sound from your YouTube video, please? Because we can hear it, and I do not like to hear my voice, for my voice is not as nice as Mullah Rashid. In Karbala and beyond. <laughs> sister, Sister Rabab, um, we are now back on YouTube. Sister Rabab, can you hear me? Why? I'm watching you. Are you watching me, Mona Rasha? Why? Why are you not? I'm watching you. You're not watching Sister Rabab, can you please turn off the sound from your YouTube video? Sister Rabab, can you not hear me? Next question is guess the word. It's gonna Sister Rabab, can you hear me? The word that Sister Rabab, Sister Rabab. Yeah. Hello, Sister Rabab, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Sister Rabab, please. Sister Rabab, please. Hello? Hello? Sister, please, can you turn off the sound from your TV screen, please? Uh, Sister Rabab, can you just turn off the sound from your YouTube, please? Where? From your YouTube, from your TV, can you turn off the sound? Okay, sorry. It's not your phone, it's not your phone. No, 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 I'll give you a phone. What's the word you think? It's Gaib, G-H-Y. Okay, G-H-Y-A-B. Mullah Rashid, Mullah Rashid, take it away, please. Really? Take it away, no. Because oh, I'm losing it. No. Yeah, take it away, take it away. Oh, take it away, take it away. Sister Rabab, unfortunately, because <coughs> you weren't able to answer this question within the time frame. And correctly. And correctly. Um, unfortunately, your journey for tonight ends here on this live show. However, okay. uh, can call again? Yes, please do. Please, please, please call again. Uh, we want you to win, inshallah. And the second thing that you can do is to just under here, um, if you scan this QR code, um, you can make a donation. And essentially, that donation is equal to you putting your name in the hat. So by the end, when you pull it out, if it's your name, you have a chance to go to Karbala, inshallah. Ma so make a donation, inshallah. Call us back, and we would love to speak to you again, inshallah. Thank you very much, Sister Thank Rabab. So much. Take Khuda care. Khuda 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 Khuda. A beautiful Ali. video from Imam Hussein Charity that we want to play again. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. We are back on your screens. I know, I know, I know. Mullah Rashid's here. You don't even know who I am. It's okay. It's okay. You just watch the show for him. I'm here. Yeah, I mean, there was a picture. Look at me <laughs> as a sidekick. I'm just a sidekick. here to make the jokes. But Mullah Rashid's the main attraction, the main event, the main everything, mashallah. Nah, for the Allah. nur out of his face has saved Imam Hussein TV thousands. <laughs> because <laughs> we do not need to spend money on electricity. With that being said, is the next caller ready, AV team? Yep. They ask, with that being said, I say to the day caller, Assalamu alaikum, Sayyid Rida, how are you? Where are you calling from? Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. I'm from East London. I'm good, thank you. How are you both keeping? From East London? Masha Allah, you are Allahu part Akbar. from Mullah Rashid's Allahu crew, Akbar. gang. Sayyid, you are going to win today. 
Inshallah, inshallah. Say, say Dada, I must let you know that we've had a lot of East Londoners call and not one of them has no, won. No, not one of them don't has won. Say it like that. But we've had a Northwestern <laughs> Londoner calling my bits and they won. So say please brother, make Mullah Rashid proud today. Say it. Today you're going to make me happy and I know that you are a very smart man from East London which means that you are going to kill it tonight. Mullah so Rashid and me have a competition going. First of all, we want some Kenyans and Tanzanians to call in <laughs> because none of them have won. And a lot of Iraqis have won, so I'm winning at the moment. And then a Northwest Londoner called, he won, and the East Londoner didn't. Yeah. So please, brother Sayyid, brother, get one right from Mullah yeah, Rashid. Yeah. Make him Sort proud. me out. Sort me out, Sayyid. He doesn't know how to sleep at night knowing that <laughs> the East Londoners are not making him proud. I twist and turn. <laughs> but anyway, let's I get into the <laughs> first question. Sayyidna, which is Imam Ali Al-Hadi. Imam Al-Naqi was born during the imamate of his grandfather or of their grandfather, Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq alayhi salam. Is this true or is this false? Big up East London, inshallah. Uh, it's false. It is false. Are you sure you'd like to lock this in? Uh, yes. Perfect. Right then, AV team, let's lock it in. Ali Ali. East London. East London. Say the Wallah, Wallah, Wallah East proud. London. Don't get too gassed because. No, no, I'm getting gassed, bro. Say he knows what he's doing. All right. Well, he is only answering the questions out of the dean of his grandfather. So, no pressure <laughs> from there, mashallah. With that being said, we ask you, Say Lula, your second question, which is Who authored the book Man La Yahdarahu and Faqih? One of the main Shia books that we have. Is it Sheikh al Saduq? Is it Sheikh al Mufid? Is it Sharif al Murtada? Or is it Sayyid ibn Tawus? Hmm. Um, AV team, let's get rid of one, please. Let's get rid of one. AV team. That's We've gotten rid of Sheikh al Mufid. Let's see if you get it correct today, say Lula. Let me tell you that even though you're not from my area, I am rooting for you. <laughs> He's trying to shake a saduk. Ooh, 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 Mullah Mullah Rashid. Maybe you want to help him out. Mullah Ah, uh, <laughs> Right. Oh. Oh. Um, okay. Bismillah, Bismillah. Let's go on. It's okay. It's okay. Next question. Mashallah. It's London, it's London. We got that Allah, Allah, wa abada. Sayyid Rilla. Sayyid Rilla. Sayyid Rilla. From East London. From East London. Right. Sayyid Rilla. Mullah Rashid, sorry, your question. Right, Sayyid Rilla. Can I just ask all of them? Sayyid Rilla. Who were the enemies of Imam Ali? During the Battle of Safin, was it the Khawarij? Was it Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan? Was it Aisha bin Abi Bakr? Or was it the Romans? Who were the enemies of Imam Ali during the Battle of Safin? Um, so primarily it was Muawiyah and then the Khawarij came after. So I'll, I'll go for Muawiyah. You're going to go for Muawiyah. He's going to go for Muawiyah. He's going to go for Muawiyah because Maybe. that is the right answer, mashallah. And we give that to you. Salman Bai, we. Yes, mashallah. With that being said, Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan, of course, that was the right answer for it was during the Battle of Safin that Muawiyah stood up against the Caliph of his time in front of the Imam of his time. Hey. And that is the day he became a Kafir. Publicly, Lanatullah Ali, with Ibnu, with Abu, and his own lineage. MashaAllah, I'm very proud of what I'm saying. If you have a problem, down my line, 077. I was going to actually say it. I was actually going to say it. With that being said, I ask you which two women are regarded as exemplars of exceptional faith in the Quran? Was it Suraya and Bilqis? Was it Khadija and Maryam? Was it Maryam and Asya? Or was it Asya and Zainab? Very easy answer to be honest with you. If any of you have uh, read the beautiful lines of Surah Taha or Surah uh, Al Imran, you would know the answer to this, MashaAllah. So please, let's see who got it. Number three, Maryam and Asya. Maryam and Asya. You know what? After you answering this one correctly, 
East London, bro. East London might East come London. for a win today. Shout out to the masses. Shout out to East London. Shout, shout out, out to East London. Guys. Shout out to, to the no mosque no, up just, there. Uh, just out of interest. Uh, where in East London are you from? Bramford. Um, so I'm from Walthamstow. Oh, oh, Walthamstow, oh, oh. five minute drive away. Sakina Trust. Yeah, yeah, Sakina yes, Trust. Yes, 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 yes. Yali, Yali. Yali. Hell of a saying. Well, we would love you, yeah. but Mullah Rash is from the better part of East London. <laughs> With that being said, we ask you, guess the word. We're going uh -huh. to wait for this to pop up on your screen. Please tell me the word. With that being said, AV team, okay, we've given oh, it to him. Yes. Do you know the word now? Yes, 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 yes. A hundred percent? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It is... Uh, yes. Yes. Ah, oh, you got it, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? What is it? That's a him. Huh? <laughs> Is it Hujatullah? Okay. Allah. Allah. Allahu Akbar. Akbar. Allahu Akbar. AV team. AV. Let's lock in. Let's lock in. Let's not mess about. Ahsan. 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 Right. Oh. I As you can tell, guys, it's 1241. Yes, I am. <laughs> Big up to the AV team. I'm actually getting very hungry, Mullah Rashid. Well. Yeah, so after this, means you're going to Ask have a me talk. Me and you are having <laughs> Just a little a talk. talk. Yeah, yeah. That's Just a not talk. meal, of course. And a little grab, yeah. Yeah, I mean. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, uh, Mullah Rashid, I think this is your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just... Sayyid Rada, what is the Arabic term for the biography of the Prophet? Allah. Allah, is what an easy question. Is it the tarikh? Is it Hayat or is it Fiqh? Sira. Sira. Oh, I love you, Sira. That's number Sayyid. one. We're I have gonna to lock that in. We're, We're gonna, gonna lock, lock that in. in. And gonna indeed, you're that correct. In. Gonna indeed, lock. you're correct. Indeed, you're correct. Indeed, you're correct. Syllables are done. <laughs> Syllables <laughs> are not there. Syllables are not there. <laughs> Syllables are not there. Wallah, this is Yasser after 12 hey. All right, AV team. Mashallah alaikum. We have taken you now, brother. Haydar Sayyid Rida, all the way to the gates of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. We are now in Bain al-Haramain and I ask you to solve the puzzle. Bain al-Haramain. Abbas Hussein. Jannat al-Liqa. Jannat al-Liqa. Ishq. Al? Okay. With that being said, brother Sayyid Haydar, please let me know when the image is on your screen and may Allah and say an Imam Rida, your jiddu be with you. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Um, thank you. It's a D6. D6. AV team, let's do it. Um, C5. C5. Uh, F4. F4. Uh, B3 and A2. Oh, B3 yes. and A2. Allahu Akbar. La, B, la, la, B, la, la, B, la. B3. B3. Don't worry, Sayyid, I got you, bro. You are winning regardless. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. East London. East London. East London. East London. East London. East London. Sayyid Rada, I am happy to announce this is all mine. This is all mine. Sayyid Rada, I am happy to announce that you are the third winner. Today, yes. Today, the third winner. Congratulations, Sayyid. What this means for you is not only have you won a ring made from the marble of the shrine of Imam al Hussein, alayhi salam, but your name has been put into a hat. And on our last episode, we are going to mix these names and we're going to take one out. And if it's your name, then you have won an all expenses paid trip to heaven on earth, i.e., Karbala, inshallah. So, congratulations. Thank you so much for taking part. We really appreciate it. Big up East London. And inshallah, I get to meet you very soon because I am extremely yeah, happy that you have won. Of course. Yes. Thank you so much, Sayyid Rada, all the way from Walthamstow. Uh, please pray for me. Pray for Mullah Rashid. Pray for the AV team. But pray for Mullah Rashid first. He loves you. With that being said, we take you to a video from Imam Hussein Charity. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. Uh, you're back on Imam Hussein TV, Seven Steps to Heaven, the best quiz show on God's green earth. Your words, not mine. Don't even dare look at me with that screw face. It is the best quiz show. There's <laughs> nothing better because we have something that no one else does. We have a money saver. We have Mullah Rashid. <laughs> for we use no lights here. For all the lights come from his Where'd face. Where'd you get all of this from? 
Wallah, you know when I wake up, you're my really brain good. goes through. Yeah, yeah, you're really yeah, good. Yeah. I feel like I'm always um, drugged up the halal way. Okay. Yeah. Nice. It's just my energy and the love I have for Imam Hussein. Subhanallah. Famous words we use in Arabic, Jannani al Hussein. Jannani al Hussein. Imam Hussein has made me crazy Allah out Akbar. of the love I have for him. Subhanallah. So indeed, I am crazy in the love of Imam Hussein. <laughs> With that being said, the money saver Mullah Rashid has said that um, all of you can win another chance to go to Karbala by only just donating. Exactly. You know it's very simple, guys. Right under. Just make a donation and you have a chance to go to Karbala. Yeah, I, I, to be honest, I don't know what more you want. That is there's so nothing, simple. There's nothing more that you can ask. Exactly. For, and it's not just that you get to go to Karbala. You also get rewarded for your donation. You never lose anything by making a donation. So guys, for Allah gives QR, you your money, how much back? The QR code is just there, Shabab. Guys, the QR code is just there. Just make a donation. And... All right, yeah. with that being said, we have 10 minutes left of the show. Hey. So we go straight to the next caller and we say, Assalamu alaikum, day caller. Your name and where you're calling from. Alaikum assalam. My name is Sayyid Abbas. I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia, United States. Mashallah. Atlanta. Georgia. Georgia. He said Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Atlanta. Yeah. Atlanta actually has the busiest airport in the world. How yeah. many runways? Yes. Yes, I told you. Why are you so <laughs> gassed? <laughs> yes! <laughs> My geography is sick. Atlanta has the busiest uh, airport in the world because they have many um, airways that they let Broski, into their Broski, you were province. just watching a YouTube video, random at like 3 a.m. Random video at 3 a.m. He saw this fact and he's remembered it ever since. That's really, be honest. <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry, sorry. Brother, we only have 10 minutes, so I'm going to take you straight into the seven steps because I want you to have a fair chance in winning today's live show. Sure. So, Inshallah. With that being said, I'll ask you the first question, which is, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib was born in the year of the elephant, Sayyid Abbas. Is that true or false? Hint, hint, it's false. True. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Say it. <laughs> Say it. I just helped you out. Wallah. Say it. He wouldn't do that to you. But he's smart. He's like, nah, I don't trust you. All right, it's true. Anyone. Let's lock that in then. <laughs> I love how Seed is in caps as well. He is not messing about. <laughs> I tried to tell him it's false, but he's a G for knowing. <laughs> I really rate him. Said Abbas, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, one of the places I want to visit because, mashallah, a lot of streamers are from Atlanta, is Georgia. What yeah. say, because w the airport the is chat, the biggest. W in the chat to everyone watching in live. With that being said, Mullah Rashid asked the next question. Right, the second Can I question. disappear for like 30 seconds? The second question for you, Sayyid <laughs> is The leader of women from the beginning of creation until the day of judgment is Sayyida Khadija, Sayyida Fatima, Sayyida Maryam, or Sayyida Sarah? Uh, Bibi Sayyida Fatima, Sarah. Sayyida Fatima, Sayyid Abbas. Are, Are you, you sure, sure you want to lock that in? Yes. You don't trust us now after what you yeah, did yeah. too. <laughs> MashaAllah, <laughs> Ali. Um, with that being said, brother Sayyid Abbas, you got that right. We take you straight to the next step. And in that next step, we are at your gateway to Karbala Imam Hussein to the studios at Pope 1114. I said, SubhanAllah, 1114. Four. Allahu Akbar. Inna Ruhi Fida Husseini. Wallahi an. Yasari O. Allahu Akbar. Okay, Sayyid Abbas, I'm going to ask you to guess the place. The image is going to pop up on the screen. Please tell me when it is, and I'm going to give you your four options. Is it on your screen? Oh, okay, now it's here. MashaAllah, it seems like the internet in Atlanta is very strong. I ask you, is it the Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein, the Holy Shrine of Imam Ali, the Holy Shrine of Hazrat Abbas, or the Holy Shrine of Sayyid Zainab al Kubra, Bit Imam Ali Ali? Shrine of Imam Ali. Shrine of Imam Ali. Uh, Bismillah. Are you sure? Are you sure? Uh, <coughs> Listen, yeah. we're not always trying to trick you, but are you sure? Uh, uh, five yes. seconds. Come on, brother. Five, four, three, two, one. Brother Sayyid Abbas, La. unfortunately, calling all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, one of my favorite places in Iraq. 
No, in uh, America, sorry. <laughs> yo. Um, <laughs> your geography is so sick. You are <coughs> correct, unfortunately, Saint oh. Abbas, for it was the holy shrine of Sayyidah Zainab. If you looked closely at the blood image, the minarets were not gold, but indeed they were, bo they ah. were blue. That should have given you a biggest oh, clue. And the uh, dome is quite narrow, whilst Imam Ali's dome is quite wide. With that being said, I don't have much time. And I'm trying to take another caller within six minutes. Sayyid Abbas, thank you for, for so much for calling. Check out the link. Check out the QR code. Donate. Call in again. We love you. Shout out to Atlanta. W's in the chat for Atlanta. Let's take in the next caller. Bismillah. Wubillah. We're going to take 30 seconds to take the next caller. And I say to Mullah Let Rashid, us do it. Assalamu alaikum caller. Can we get your name and where you're calling from? Wait. Oh. Assalamu alaikum, they call your name and where you're calling from. I thought they said he's not. No. Oh, yes. Bismillah. Bismillah. Hello, my name is Fatima and I'm nine years old. Fatima, salam, nine years old. Where do you, where are you calling from? Uh, United States what of state? America. What state? New York. New York. New York. Honestly, the best place in America, <laughs> hands down. Yeah, yeah. this one I've heard from no, you. No, we're so being serious. Okay. New York, best state in America. Br the Bronx. The Bronx. The Bronx. <laughs> Come on, my brother. Brooklyn. It's just beautiful. Oh, Anyways, gosh. we have six minutes. So, Sister Fatima, I'm going to ask you and your family to help you as much as they can because we don't have much time and I want you to win today. Your first question is, the Quran permits Muslims to marry up to seven wives. You won't know the answer. Ask Mama or Baba if they know the answer to that one. Okay. Bismillah, um. Bismillah. Come on, Sister Fatima, you know this. 20 seconds, Sister Fatima, uh, come on. Thanks. Can you repeat it again? I'm not going to repeat it. Instead of that, I'm going to give you the right answer. It is, is, it is indeed false. Let's go to the second question. Wow, Sister Fatima, how did you know the answer? You're such a smart girl. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Calling all the way from New York. New York is beautiful, man. It is we beautiful. Need to go, Wallah, Please we need to go. Happen, I've told you don't even have your visa, bro. Let's do it. You know what are you gonna do? Jump in. With <laughs> <laughs> right. that being said, Mullah Rash should take it away. Right, the next why are you guys doing this, man? <laughs> the I, next question one, is one like that cinema. Which oh, why? Which two wives cited in the Quran were disloyal to their husbands? Was it the wife of Prophet Ibrahim and Salah, the wife of Prophet Harun and Dawood, the third one? gone is it the wife of prophet no and lord okay, we're not just get rid of them guys okay please for fatima for fatima please okay Br brahim let's think about it again let's think about it again come on ask mama and baba who are the great wives of the prophets that did not help her maybe it's option number two maybe it's option number four what was it uh, option number four you said no yeah what did you say sorry? four Four, oh, isn't it? Four. Yeah. Oh my God! Yes. Let's look at number AB four. Team. AB team. AB team. AB team. She's Hada. winning, by the way. She's winning. She's winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love the Imam Hassan. I don't care. She's winning. Imam Hassan, alayhi salam. And you try to give her these questions. Four minutes. Okay. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Hurry up there. Next, next. Hurry up there. Just Baba. green it, Baba. Go next. Skip, skip. Um, um Sister Fatima. Imam the next Hassan. question is: Who Imam was referred Hassan? to? Sorry. Okay. Imam Who was Hassan? referred to as the Imam of the Rafidah at the time of his martyrdom? Was it Imam Hussein? Was it Imam Kadhim? Was it Imam Hassan? Or was it Imam Sadiq? Who was referred to as the Imam of the Rafidah at the time of his martyrdom? Let's take away one of the answers. Bismillah wa billah wa isma'il husna. Sister, Sister Fatima. Is it either option two, option three or option four? Hussein. Imam Hussein has been removed. Maybe... Choose another one, Imam Kadhim, Imam Hassan, or Imam Sadiq. Bismillah. Al Sadiq. Okay. Imam Sadiq, number four. Okay, let's lock that in. See if she's right. On. Yeah, yeah. there's no time. Al Kadhim. Unfortunately, sister, sister, sister. She said Kadhim. Sister Fatma, because we love New York so much, we're gonna let you. Yeah. She said Kadhim. Because Kadam. you said Imam Kadhim yes. at the end. 
and you are past your time, we will let you go because you are only nine years old and Islam is supposed to be fun and easy for you. So we ask you your next question. <laughs> Mother Rashid, go ahead. <laughs> Not with these questions though. Right, on to the next question, which is, which prophet worked as a carpenter? Was it Prophet Yahya? Was it Prophet Ibrahim? Allah. Was it Prophet Zakaria? Allah. Or was it Prophet Harun? I said. Come on, Sister Fatima, you got this. Harun. Open up your Quran, search it. Prophet. Chef Google is allowed. You can Harun. use this. Today. Okay, you have 20 seconds. Are you sure? Think about it. Think about it. Yes. Um, oh. I'm, I'm not sure. You're not sure. Are Mama and Baba sure? Do they want to lock this in? You have 10 seconds. Um. Five, four, three, oh. two, one. Um. Unfortunately, 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 Sister Fatima, the right answer was Nabi Zakaria, for he was a carpenter. Oh. Sister Fatima, please don't get upset because if you get upset, it will break my heart. But a message to you and your parents, you can call in again and have another chance. If you don't want to call in again, you can scan the QR code under me, go to the website, donate and help an impoverished family in Iraq or Afghanistan or anywhere around the world break their fast for it is one of the greatest acts. And if you do so, we'll put your name into the raffle at the end of the show and you'll have the same chance to win a trip to Iraq as if you won 7 Step 7. This isn't only to you, Fatima, but it is to all the viewers, thank you so much for calling. Remember me, remember Rashi, remember the AV team, but remember me first. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> to all the viewers, the reason I'm talking so fast is because we only have two minutes and I want to speak to you very, 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 very quickly. I want to speak to you because I love you all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I want to tell you that please donate using the QR code under me. Help a family. Donate an iftar pack. What better act is there to do in Shah Ramadan than helping a family break their fast, especially orphans? I again congratulate you for this is the birth of Imam Hassan alayhi salam. So maybe you can help the orphans like Imam Hassan used to and do it in his name for an increase of thawab. Thank you so much for watching 7 Step 7. I've been your host for the most and I go by the name of Yasser Hilfi. This has been Rashid Haidar. And we say to you, peace out. We'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining us today. Ma'asalama. Imam Hassan, birth Mubarak. Kushali Mubarak. Ma'asalama. Remember us in your du'as. See you on Wednesday. Ma'asalama. Bye-bye. <laughs> These orphans need your help and require your assistance. Don't let any of these orphans go hungry this Ramadan. Please donate. Don't let this be the end. Keep the hope alive. What does the flag of Imam Hussein mean to you? This flag means everything. It's meant to show a stance. It means you have a purpose worth fighting for. This flag means to me Islam. This flag manifests prophethood, iman, wilayah, ethics, morals, knowledge, everything.